Hi, this is Pavel and this is a conclusion of our Nights Tour program and we are going to create the main loops. We already have the while loop over here. I'm gonna come in the console read key because I'm gonna need that. In fact, I'm gonna just delete it all together because we are going to automate the process. So, um, over here above the our while loop, we're going to create another while loop. We will run n number of loops basically so we need to have a way to determine whether the game is over so we will do boolean game over equal false we need a counter that will count the games uh, we will need the integer best uh, round counter this is just for some statistics you'll see when we display the statistics on the screen and over here we will do while the game is not over so while not game over and let's say the counter is less than I don't know thousand for now that, that's good enough I guess so if this is all tr uh, true let's do the this loop inside of it I'm sorry I didn't copy it right uh, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm just copy the whole thing and place it inside of this loop. So, but it, now it will loop simply thousand times, and uh, all we have to do now, after it is all done, after we move thousand times or the game is over, we will um, um, actually over here. Sorry, uh, after the while loop, the inside while loop. We will increase the counter because we are going to obviously need to have a way to count to thousand since we are looping thousand times and we will do the game over the the way to determine whether the game is over is to call the r blocks fill which i already prepared just for this uh remember we are checking uh in the, in the previous video we made this uh method that simply checks whether there is uh, any empty grid symbol or if it's all axis. If it is all axis, the game is over and we won. Uh, so, um, and we will return true or false. Whether we, uh, if, the, if they are filled, we will return true. Ba that means game over, we won. Otherwise, we return false. It doesn't mean that the, it still means the game is over, but we mean uh, it means that we lost. We didn't make all possible moves. We just got stuck somewhere and couldn't make any more moves. So it will return true or false to our game over. And now we can do if game over, then we will do something like well, we'll display the grid and uh, that's gonna be our last grid, and we will do the console dot right line and we can do something like it took how many tries to win the game and how many times well that's the counter if if the game is over then the counter is not gonna be thousand well it could be but like if it was the very last game but basically if it is the game if the game is over we quit the game before the counter reaches thousand all right so uh, we will simply display all right it took i don't know 627 games to win this that's only if game is over if not this is all skipped and we go to the next thing which is the uh uh not else but else if if our round moves are greater than our best moves which i will call a little uh, right after this we are simply um, going to find out how many moves we were able to make what was the ma most number of moves that we made so we will do the uh, ba uh, best round counter equals our counter our best moves equal the round moves and finally we will display the grid for this 
a particular branch of if statement. So, if the game is over, perform this. Else if check this. If it's not true, if neither of this is true, don't do any of it. Simply, and then all we have to say, if uh, not game over, in other words, if the game was not won, I mean, the game is still over, but, uh, you know, we did not succeed in all, all moves, we can display something like console dot right line uh like no success the best score was how many moves moves reached and we have the statistics basically we are going to reach on what round uh this score was reached on round number and we will pass the best moves and the best round counter so it will simply say no success the best score was i don't know 62 moves reached on the round uh 628 or whatever so that's our and um all right that's uh this i don't need to display the grid over here we will, we will simply uh, where's my cursor we will simply pause the screen with the read uh, key so again what we are doing here we we'll loop until no more moves are possible when no more moves are possible uh, we increase the counter uh, I mean we make the move and then we increase the counter uh, if no more moves are possible or like the game was over hey good for us we display the grid and we will uh, with the which will be filled with X's and uh, we will say okay uh, it took how many tried what, what was the round that we uh, succeeded in if that's not true then we'll just check our round moves uh, whether they are better than our best moves like is this current move that we just made better? Did we do more moves? Let's say in the previous one we did 59 moves, in this one we did 62. So well, this is a better round than what we had before. So just capture, you know, the statistic around that move. Uh, what, how many uh, moves we made in that tour, and uh, what tour number that basically was. And if it was, if the, and then at the end just display the message. If it was not game over then just displayed we didn't succeed and the score was that and that so um, so in our block field uh, what I have to do uh, our blocks field since we are counting the moves I have to do reset the round moves to zero otherwise it will just keep uh, adding to it uh, after each each move so I think that might be all let me see so if I run it, uh, let me see if it's doing anything, and it looks like it's not, of course, so uh, let's see what's going on here, and uh, oh, you know what, I forgot, since we are uh, having the automated loop, I have to move, uh, now let me see. I have to move the populate array because I have to reset the array for each of the of the rounds so I will do that reset array but I also need these uh, the counter and the game over I need them uh, no I need I need them over there actually but I need the since oh you know what i need to reset the is over to false after each round because over here we are looping this loop would never be executed uh, after the uh, last round because it would be set to true so i have to reset it to false again so let's see if that's all no obviously not there's still something wrong i can just get the blank screen 
How annoying. So, uh, let me see. So, it's not doing anything. Okay, so when it's, you know, when it makes the move. Okay, we're returning false, but however, when it does make the move, when, when we come over here to our get move function, and all these conditions are true, and we can make the move, we have to actually return true. Otherwise, it would always re just return false. There would be never any change. Well, it's returning something, but it's not, not return the... It just says no success, the best score was one. Uh, so, that indicates that this is in a wrong spot. And it is. It's actually within the within these within this loop there's two loops inside of each other the one loop inside of the bigger loop where's the end so this is actually supposed to be over here after all the thousand moves were made and it displays something but only once and <laughs> it only displays the uh, first uh, not even a move it's just the first uh, X the starting position okay so let's look into that okay I paused the video and I know now what was going uh, wrong in the make move when we are calling the get move function I don't know if I accidentally or when I was debugging it while I paused the video it's so it's supposed to be not get move if it returns uh, false uh, like if the move is not made then you are returning the we are supposed to return the true I had it coded that way before but I think when I was uh, debugging it uh, you know while I was uh, I paused the video uh, a few minutes ago I think I changed that or uh, and I forgot to bring, put it back so if I run it now we have 4x4 four four grid up to thousand moves and we get uh, okay no success but the best score was 14 which was reached on the round 189 out of thousand so uh, from 189 uh, from the move around 190 all the way to 1000 there we didn't score any better than that and you can see that it's four by four in other words it's 16 possible moves and two of them were not made we got stuck there so this was the first one that was the best uh, basically that's the first move that we made uh, the second best, third best, and the last best. So uh, if we go to our, let's make it eight by eight, eight by eight, and if I run it, all right, so fifty moves was best for out of all sixty-four, and this is it. This is the one that we made as the best move. And it was about a five, not about it was a move around 595. So let me try it again. Oh, 56. All right. So uh, let's increase this loop from 1000 to uh, 10,000. Let's see if we get better. And we get 58 moves. And uh, let's try it again. I want to do at least 64 and it's doing its thing 59 moves all right so let's make it 100,000 I'm not gonna make it any more than that otherwise uh, you know my computer is not the fastest but it's making the moves it's still running you can see that it's uh, but whatever it's doing now is not the better moves than whatever the last one was and we get 62 so close we, we only missed two spots out of 64 and it was 12,004th round all right so this seems to be working it's uh, automatic sorry about the mistake I made before that was little that was stupid that <laughs> and you can see one little exclamation point and it changes everything so because remember the get move returns true if you can make the move and uh, if it is if no more moves are possible if we are stuck and we're done then it returns false so uh, I uh, first I forgot to actually code the return true 
after the move was made and so it always returned false and when I was testing that I accidentally uh, deleted it not uh, if it returns uh, a false then uh, you know we are returning true to our uh, function over here so we can do another round all right so um, anyway this is it this is the s my solution to the brute force approach of the night's tour uh, it's a little you know a lot of looping a lot of uh, you know array stuff so uh, I'll make the code available for download you can go through it you can debug it you know play with it so uh, I hope it was helpful and uh, if you liked it don't be stingy with the likes for the videos for the, sh uh, the shares the comments it's all appreciated it all supports the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video take care